Hi there, Robin here, and in this video we are going to be talking about the XLR to USB audio interface from Pilot called the PD-USB PP10. This is very impressive. When we look at the actual technical specs on the back of it, we realize that this isn't just an XLR to USB, it actually does it really well. It's at running at 24 bits and it operates at 96 kilohertz. I mean, that is very impressive for a piece at this price. So let's unpack it and take a good look at it. And here we are. This is what we're looking at today. It just basically looks like a stick with a couple of knobs and a button on it. Now, very important to say that today I am actually using this to record this video. I have one connected to a pile condenser microphone. It is called the PDMIC70. Now you you can buy one of these if you really want one of these, or you can have any microphone you have. It can be a condenser, it can be a dynamic microphone. It doesn't have to have phantom power, but if your product actually uses phantom power, no problem. This will operate anywhere from 9 to 48 volts, which is great because, of course, the condenser microphone I'm using today absolutely needs phantom power. Now, when we look at the unit, like I said earlier, we do have one button, which is a mute button. Uh, it does illuminate here with either a green LED or a blue LED. If it's blue, it means it's live. If it's green, it means you've pushed the actual mute button and now it's in mute mode. The first knob is allowing you to go between your microphone directly or your actual audio signal coming in from the bottom, which is going to be for your headphone jack right here. And again, that's our USB, which is a mini USB. That cable is included in the package. The second knob is actually headphone level control. This is going to allow you to decide how loud or how low your headphones are when you plug them into the bottom. You can choose to use your headphones straight off your computer. That's really up to you. But if you want to take advantage of the mix option on it, again, going between our actual computer and live microphone, that's going to mean you're going to plug in at the bottom. Outside of this, it's very easy. I mean, it's just standard XLR. Now, sometimes this even though it's working for me today, this sometimes won't work for you. And all you have to do is add a short XLR cable, if that's what you, or a long XLR cable, your choice. I mean, this is going to stick there. It's not very heavy. So as the unit goes, it really doesn't have any carry weight. It does have substantial like, oh, I know it's a piece of electronics. It's got that kind of weight to it, but it's not crazy for weight. But remember, if you don't want to plug this directly into your actual system, or maybe you already have a cable running out of it, this can just plug into the end of your XLR cable. So let's say this isn't going to be convenient for you, having this plugged in directly into there. So what you do is get yourself a short or long XLR cable just like this so now we can actually just line this up of course that's always important plug that into this unit here then plug the other end of this unit into the microphone and job is done i mean there's nothing more complicated than that all you need to do is make sure you have an xlr cable and now i can have this conveniently placed on the desk next to me or closer to the computer and not worry about an actual adapter like this being stuck directly onto the microphone for ease of use and convenience, this is definitely a nice way to go. If you only need to get a good working microphone that you already have hooked up to your computer and nothing more, so you don't plan on having more people on your podcast or on your live stream or whatever reason you're going to be buying this for, uh, it does work for everything. Again, it's just an audio interface in a different configuration. It's very portable if you need something to take out with you and out and about. This is a good way to go. Remember, it doesn't operate on batteries because people do occasionally ask that. There's no rechargeable or anything like that. There's no recorder inside this unit. It does need to be plugged into your computer. You're going to be using it with software like Audacity or maybe even some Pro Tools, whatever that you like to work with. So an, also an important feature is right here. What is this actually compatible with? I'm using it on a PC right now, but it also works on a Mac or on a Linux system. So not to be worried about what kind of computer you're going to be plugging it into. It will work for you. Outside of that, that pretty much covers everything on this unit today. Again, I really like it. I think it's fun. It's portable. It's easy to use. If you just need something for gaming on your computer and you need to do some live streaming, if you need something to do videos like I'm doing right now and you want to get some good audio quality, but you don't want to have a complicated audio interface or a mixer, this is definitely going to get the job done. Remember, a lot of people have microphones out there they really like to use. This is how you're going to take your XLR microphone and get it into the computer. And so there we go. Don't forget, you've actually been listening to this actual audio interface in today's video. 
So I'd like to say thanks for watching. I hope this helped you in your buying decision. Maybe we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.